Hi, my love. Sister Boy here with LA Curly Group, and I'm coming to you with another August 30 Day Vlog. I am, uh, I thought about talking about um, men's opinions of our hair. And I know that's a touchy subject for a lot of people. Um, some people, they feel like men shouldn't have an opinion or we shouldn't care or men shouldn't think that their opinion means anything about our hair. And I am, I'm not sure that I agree with all of that and in some of it I do. I'm kind of uh, right in the fence on this. I am. Um, I hold a bit of a view about certain things, not everything. Um, and I also think it depends on, you know, a woman's status. If I'm divorced, um, so I, I'm free. <laughs> so, you know, in my case, I pretty much think I can do pretty much whatever I want to do with my hair. If I want to shave it off, that's mine. That's my choice. Now, however, if you're married, then I think it is respectful to be considerate of your husband's feelings. Does that mean that he can dictate? And of course, this is all relative. Do I think he should be able to dictate to you how you should wear your hair? By all means, no. But I do think that you know, if you're a married woman, that you're, you should it would be appropriate for you to at least be considerate of his feelings and of his opinions and things like that. Um, now for the folks, the other folks, and I know I went from not married to married, and I know there's a whole gray area in between the people that's in long-term relationship, um, you know, maybe they're in a brand new relationship. I, I'm not going to get into all that. I'm not going to say that we should just be completely and utterly dismissive of the man, but at the same time, I don't think that anyone, anyone should be able to dictate to us how we should, how we wear our hair, how we dress, how we look, and I say anyone, and I pretty much mean anyone, um, if you are over the age 18, <clears throat> you pay your own bills and uh, you take care of yourself, yeah, then, you know, you do what you want to do for the most part. And, you know, I take, and I say that with, you know, some parameters. If you work on a job where they have a dress code, then, yeah, you need to fall in line with that. If you want to get paid, you need to eat. Um, but, yeah, I'm not with anyone kind of dictating what somebody can do. Uh, with things to their body, their person, rather. Now, when we get into the whole thing of, well, I went natural and men love my hair, or I went natural and men don't seem to like my hair, it's not the end of the world, and I see a lot of people having these, these discussions I mean, I personally, I, I, I'm not too fond with the discussion. I mean, I have an opinion, but it's not something that I want to sit up and talk about. And so you can trust and believe for LA Curly Girls. You probably never, ever have a, I'm not going to say never, ever. I say probably, probably, most likely, you will never have a panel discussion talking about uh, men and our hair and, yeah, that kind of stuff. And I don't, I don't even like those discussions. My man does my so the whole thing of, well, once I went natural, men became interested in me, or once I went natural, you know, I started getting a whole bunch of attention. Again, I think that's a relative for a lot of people. And then I also think it, excuse me, um, there's other factors that play into that, where you are, how old you are, I do think age plays a big role in that. Um, 
the age in the the mindset of the men that you're dealing with, it plays a role in you. But again, if you like your hair, I think then you'll be confident enough that you'll be fine. I don't think um I say this as I'm speaking from where I am right now. Let me go back. When I first went natural, you have to remember, my hair was part of my identity. It made up, you know, the sexy part of me. It, it was that because I was a chick. I had some hair. And I mean, I've always had some hair. I still have some hair. But um, men loved my hair. And then I went natural, and the men that I dealt with, they like, you know, long straight hair. Do they have that anymore? So there had to be a shift. Since then, you know, I went through my whole natural journey and I found the beautiful me and I rock my I rock my girl. I don't have a problem with my confidence level now. So if you take it, you don't like it, you don't I mean I don't know if you tell me. Um and so, like I said before, it's not something that I even want to give that much time to discuss. But for some people, it's an issue. And I understand and I respect where some naturals are, especially in their transition phase, um, where it's still an issue. And don't get me wrong, I see where, you know, there are some men that like it and some men that don't. I will say, there's a whole bunch of men out there that do, and I'm not one of those women that's like, whatever, if a, if a man don't ever like your hair, no, 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 I'm a heterosexual woman, and I like men, am I going to change everything about me just to attract a man, no, so I'm not going to say it absolutely does not matter, um, because it does. But at the same time, I have found my confidence, my how my beauty, and I am settling at peace with who I am overall. So I am at that place where if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. Um, I do recognize that there are some who prefer my straight hair. And you know, I I see I see the light when I post, when I, the few times I have straight my hair, I see the post. I can get maybe like 80 likes, <laughs> uh, a comment on one page with my straight hair, and then um, with my curly hair, I can get maybe 20, 30. Is it the end of the world for me? No, it's not. And if you're a woman and you're going natural and say you big chop or you're, you know, you're in your journey and you're starting to see the difference, trust me, there are plenty of men out there that like and love the sister with natural curls and presses. And the ones that say that they don't, they like women. So, yeah. Now, for the woman who feels like she needs that affirmation and that validation from the man, I'm not going to knock you. You'll get it. There's, there's men out there. You don't have to worry about that. Men love women. <clears throat> women love men. And it's not predicated on natural hair. So, again, find your beautiful, walk in your awesomeness, and that's where you focus. All the other stuff is extra, and some of it is extra that we can do away with and, you know, what is it, brush it off your shoulder, uh, I like this one, uh, shake the dust off. <laughs> so, just be you, just be beautiful you, and walk with your head up, 
a notice. You're awesome and beautiful. Okay, that's it. I think that was a bit of rambling, but hey, that's another day down. Let me know your thoughts um, on this, and um, we can chat about it. All right, my love. Stay beautifully curly, and I'll be back.